Hey guys, it's Miss Mercenary here. Um, I'm going to do a tutorial on how to retexture a pre-made mesh tank top. Now it's going to be a guy's tank top, um, and this is in GIMP. Now this GIMP program is free to download. Uh, it is similar to Photoshop, and uh, the paintbrushes that you can use in Photoshop you can use in GIMP as well. So. At the moment, we're not really going to talk about paintbrushes and stuff. It's basically um, opening um, and using layers and whatnot. Okay, as you can see, this is my um, how can I put it? It's my UV map. Now, this is going to be my outline, a guideline for my tank top that I'm going to be making. This is actually from the in-game. When you uh, buy something that's already pre-made, um, you can they'll actually give you the UV map for you to use again. So this is already done for me. I'm just using this as a guideline. Now basically what it is, is if you have something like this, it doesn't have to be a tank top, it can be anything. If you have something like this you can use, it's awesome to have. Or even um, if you go into the Second Life, Second Life website, they have the body templates, which are it's good to use as well. You can draw over the body as well. But at the moment I'm going to show you how to use the tank top. Okay, so this is my tank top that I'm going to be using. Now, I'll quickly explain the two toolboxes that you've got on the other side. Now, this toolbox on your left, uh, hopefully your gimp will look somewhat similar to this. This is all your different uh, tools that you can use. Um, if you put your cursor over them, it will tell you what they are and what they're used for. Um, basically, we're only using a few of these today. They, they're not really that hard to figure out what they are. On your right-hand side is your layers and channels. Now this is where whenever you load a picture or you make a new layer, this is where it will come. Now this is my first layer which is my background and it already says there it's my background. Okay, so basically what we're going to do is that I need to add a new layer. So I go down the bottom here, underneath where it says background, you've got these little rows here. Okay, you need to click on the first one, it says create new layer and add it to the image. So if I click that and up here it brings me another tab. Now this explains to me as I'm creating a new layer. Now I'm going to already name the, the my layer is my first layer. You can put whatever name you want in there um, to help you remember what it exactly is that layer is going to be used for. Um, you have your width and your height which is your size of course and now down the bottom here it says layer fill type. Make sure that transparency is clicked. It has a blue dot because you actually need it to be transparent. So I go ahead and press OK and please excuse me for my voice, I do have a cold. <coughs> um, now, in my right hand side toolbox here, as you can see, my first layer is above my background. So what it means is that that layer is over the top of this. So I can't do anything on top of, uh, say if I click on background and I get the eraser, I can erase it out. But if I was to do that and click my first layer, I can erase and nothing's happening. Alright, so basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to over to the left hand side and I'm going to click on my paintbrush. Now what I need to do is I need to outline uh, my tank top. So I've made sure I've got a colour black which is already there. Um, you have your little brushes here. Now these ones I use because they're just the plain circle ones that are already in GIMP. So I'm going to go over and click that one and I'm going to go and start tracing around my tank top. Now this isn't going to be perfect, this is just a guideline on how to use GIMP. Alright, and then I do the same and go all the way around and up. Okay, this is just as a guideline. Alright, now on my right hand side I have my two layers. Now my background I really don't need anymore because I've got my outline. So I'm going to click the little eye where it says next to background. Now that's going to take the black background away with the lines. Now basically all I have is my tank tops that I've, I've copied. Right now I'm going to fill these in because my tank top's going to be black. So I'm going around real quickly. This doesn't have to be perfect because when you upload it into Second Life and you put it on the already made prim now this isn't, an, this isn't uh, a tutorial on how to make mesh, this is a tutorial how to create your own textures to texture an already pre-made mesh top. Um, and this is for the tank top that I already have in game. Right, now this is my awesome, awesome looking tank top. Okay, now I'm going to put a picture on, on my tank um, and this is how you're going to do it. You go to file, and make sure you've got a picture already picked out um, and go down to open as layers. 
and click on that now you scroll down and find your picture and I have my picture of Megatron now it's quite large um, but it is over my first layer so obviously you can't see any of my layers because this is quite big and it's over my layers if you go to your left hand toolbox and you'll click on scale tool you click that make sure that your Megatron picture in your boxes is highlighted because that's the one that you're going to resize and now if you click on the picture and all you got to do is just drag it down hold your left click mouse button and drag it down to size now I really need to make it a reasonable size and then you come up with this toolbox, this is your scale box, you just click scale um, and then you've scaled it. Um, you go over here on your left hand toolbox and you can use the move tool and you actually just click on whatever you want to move and you can move it to place. Now I actually do would like to make that a little bit bigger because it's going to fit into there. And I click it again and just drag it down, make it a little wider and then just click scale again. Well, basically, this has already made my, my tank top. Now, um, what I do is that if I want to add text or anything like that, you have text here. Um, if you want to change the color, you can go back and change the color. Um, a good note is that if you do make a mistake and you want to go back to the last step that you did, if you press Control and Z at the same time, or actually hold Control and, pre and press Z once, it will take you back a step. If you hold Z, it will take you back all the way until the, you originally started. So um, that's just a good tip to have. If you do make a mistake, press Control, hold Control, sorry, tap Z, and that will take you back each step. Um, now, basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to save it. Now, I'm not going to show you how to put it in game because I really don't have time. But what I'll show you is I'll, you go up to File. Now, this is your finished product. Now, whenever you're doing. Um, a texture like this and you are using a background make sure when you final save point is that this background isn't clicked on see when I this is my background you don't want your background saved you only want these two because these two are the only ones that are going to go be going into second life so when I put this on my tank top it's actually going to fit on my tank top and then when I edit in uh, edit mode in second life you can adjust it so you go up to file and make sure that background eye is not ticked on go up to file now you go up to save as now when you're saving this you need to make it sure that it's a TGA file name it whatever you want but make sure at the end it's a TGA file now if you can't remember that it's a TGA go down and select file type click on the little cross at the end scroll down until you find Taj Ta uh, I think it's tar Targa image sorry right there. Uh, everything that you do like this has to be saved as a TGA file um, basically because it's got an invisible background. So if you just click save, um, do I want to replace? No, I need to rename it. Okay, so, sorry I do. Save it, replace it, okay whatever. Now when you come up with this it will say export, um, merge visible layers, make sure that's, that's clicked. Then click export and then you'll get another one that comes up that says RLE compression make sure that's ticked it says bottom left and then go save and then that's it and then basically it's you going in in game uh, clicking up on edit uh, upload image it's up upload as an image your image when you load it into second life will look exactly like this then all it is is going into edit mode edit your um, mesh prim clicking on texture dragging this uh, your tank top texture onto the texture of the tank top and voila you're done so uh, hopefully that was helpful enough I'm sorry if it was a bit rough I am, uh, I am a little sick um, and I've just done this real quick for a few friends so I hope this helps thanks for watching